You need to understand that we as men are at war right now. When you see a girl or a man, which is even worse, with pink hair on the street, who is a degenerate. I'm not saying they're your enemy. I'm not saying that they are the enemy. They're the victims. They're the fallen soldiers. And I want you this evening to pray for those people. It's not us versus them. It's us plus them versus the problem. It's not self-improvement against blue-dyed hair people. It's not this guy versus this guy or this woman versus this woman. It's not God versus these people. It's God versus Satan. You need to understand this. This is the genuine battle that we're fighting right now. And don't cope. Don't not cope right now. These people have fallen, okay? These people have fallen for the lies of Satan. And us who have found the truth, we don't help them, right? You don't walk up to the blue hair guy. You don't walk up to the trans guy and you don't ask him, do, I want, do you want to pray with me? Should I tell you the truth? You simply assume, yeah, he's a degenerate. He's shit. I shouldn't talk to him. Maybe I should just fucking kick him in the face and bully him. No. Save them, save all of them is my mission. Save all these people. You don't need a doctor for healthy people. God hasn't sent us on this earth to bully these people. He has sent us on this earth as sons of him to heal these people, to be there for them, to help them. Not to push them down, but to pull them up. Because they are still the image of the God and the image of his likeness. God still made them after his image and his likeness. And what you have done to the, to the lowest of my kind, you have done to me. Matthew, Gospel of Matthew. Great, great book. Best book in the Bible, my opinion. Best book must read absolute must read what you have done to my brothers what you have done to the lowest of my kind you have done upon me jesus said and turned away do to these blue dyed hair people don't bully them don't make them kill themselves don't do none of that shit you're only firing up the problem and this is what satan wants because if you, if you try to fight their degeneracy, if you try to fight them, you're just joining them. You are a degenerate too. What you need to do is fight the problem. And the problem is Satan. The problem is that Satan has too much control because there is too much sin on the world. And this is something that starts not with them, Again, cite from the Bible, a, a, a proverb, not from the book of Proverbs, but one of the best things that I cite all of the time when someone critiques me or when I critique someone or short before critiquing someone, I always think you will see the splinter in the eye of your brother, but you will not see the tree in your own eye. Don't see the blue hair girl and think, oh, she's degenerate, she's shit, she's depressive, she has this problem, she has these problems. <laughs> Don't think about how bad she is. Think about how great God is. And don't start with them. Don't, don't say, I will pull your splinter out. I will help you. Help yourself first so that then you can help them. You cannot pour from an empty cup. And let me tell you something. Every single time you're deciding for sin, Every single time you're jerking off, you are deciding for Satan. You are deciding 
for the dark side, not for the light side, you're deciding for the bad side. This is this serious. We cannot just see it as, oh, I have a streak of 300 days and now I'm going to relapse one day and it's one once a year. Mm -hmm. No, zero times a year, zero. Zero. Every single time you're deciding for sin, you're deciding for Satan. Every single time you want to beat one of these blue hair people or red hair people or whatever. Every single time you want to fight them, hold back and do the right thing. Help them. It's us plus them against Satan, against the problem, against the demons, against the kings of hell. If you have Jesus in your heart, my friend, my brother, and you carry that light that is within you outside, you will help them speak the truth, talk about the Bible. Because you see, the heart of man and of woman also, when I say of man, I mean of human. The heart of man can either be like wax or like clay in front of the sun. Let's imagine the sun is God. And our heart can either be made of wax and it will melt in front of the God and it will melt in love and in joy. Or it can be hardened like clay, hardens in the sun. And by simply having this light of God within you, it's as if you're carrying the sun around and the people around you have hearts of wax. So the people who are ready for God's voice, they will soften their hearts and they will listen to you and they will turn around. They might not be healed right now, but you can heal those people. The people who have a heart of clay, those people will harden their hearts. And you can test this. You can test all of your friends with this if you want to. Simply, <clears throat> And you can test this simply. <clears throat> and you just carry this light around and people will harden their hearts and they will hate you or they soften their hearts. And trust me, people who have a hard heart, you cannot convince and don't waste your time with doing what you can't. Leave that to God. God is there to do what we can't, but we are here to do what we can. Help the people who have a soft heart, who have a heart made of wax. Help those people and carry the light of Jesus around by not sinning, by repenting from your sin, by asking for forgiveness for your sin. And this is how we solve the problem of degeneracy through Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. All glory be to him.